Hey YouTube, so I'm back at it. I want to send this gun back, but you guys keep coming up with comments and I get intrigued. Um, let me show you something with this barrel before we get too far along with my idea, which I'm not even sure is going to work. Okay, so I had a question, how thick is the barrel? Here's a 12 millimeter open end wrench and the barrel is just slightly less than 12 millimeter but for all intents and purposes it's 12 millimeters so let's see if i can show the movement here can you see that how about this i'm i mean can i do my pinky i mean it's like i'm barely putting any pressure on this barrel it's just a it's a very very flexible Thing. I'm gonna see if I can come up with something. I've got o-rings I've got some rubber tubing. I'm gonna try to stick something underneath this barrel to kind of support it and then I'm thinking using a zip tie Hopefully it'll clear the mechanism for the pumping handle <clears throat> Put the cap back on hold everything tight shoot it see if it improves it if it does hey then maybe we figured something out so this didn't work out exactly how I had envisioned um, I have a piece of fuel line that I cut lengthwise slipped under the barrel and I had to use a piece of rubber to make up the difference so this has a slip fit uh, but it's in there pretty good you know I can't I'm gonna have to pull the end cap back off to slide that out but I didn't want it so tight that, you know, it's causing uh, a diff different problem. But my plan was to use a zip tie and just go around the air tube and hold everything together. But I can't because the, the uh, linkage slides all the way up to here, back and forth. So there's no way to do it. So the theory here is, you know, it's going straight. And then you've got, got your wet noodle for a barrel doing whatever it wants to do and the other thing is because the iron sights are attached to the barrel they move with the barrel plus you're not that precise with iron sights anyway at 50 yards i can this this dot is obscuring the majority of the can even at 35 yards it's obscuring quite a bit of it anyway let's take this thing out and uh i'm gonna shoot a few rounds and i'm gonna use crossman hollow points because that seemed to work pretty good in it before, at least at closer range. And I'll show you, and then I'll show you the results. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, so I'm shooting at 50 yards with the Crossman hollow points. And I was actually starting to get a little bit excited. Because I'm like, this thing's doing all right. I was starting to think to myself, oh, maybe somebody will come out with a barrel band or something. Or I can keep messing around with the brace on the barrel. Maybe this thing's worth keeping, you know. At 50 yards, I mean, that's pretty good. And then I had that one, and that's what I was laughing about when I came out here. And I guess I'll shoot another five at this one. Just to see. The problem is I'm, I'm maxed out, practically maxed out with my scope for windage on the left side and i haven't even been being nice about it. i've just been grabbing a barrel and reefing it over <laughs> i'm gonna do that again let's see what happens okay guys i kind of lost track i think i shot around 10 uh let me show you the results but first many bothans died to bring us this information this is how many mosquitoes that have landed on a table that i've killed i'm getting swarmed by them out here this is uh not fun here we go. Let's see these results. This is 50 yards. I shot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. And that's a quarter. So you want to know what's crazy? So I was maxed out on my windage to the left. So I just grabbed the barrel and, and, tweaked it over 
and it shot over here and gradually worked its way back over here. So it's up to you if this accuracy is acceptable to you at 50 yards. Um, hey, you got a bullseye there. I mean, these are all good for a can. Um, I guess it all depends. Maybe a can's right here. So maybe you're going to hit 50% of the time. I don't know. That's just not consistent enough for me. But Well, so, you know, perhaps you could shim the scope. Maybe a different scope wouldn't be so maxed out on, on windage. Um, I don't know that this helped any. Um, I'm not going to go and now go shoot back and forth with and without it, um, but I mean, it seemed to ever so slightly stiffen things up. Maybe you shim the scope, you can see how far in my turret is. So yeah, hey, maybe that's it. My scope, I'm so far out and I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't care anymore. I'm done. So it could be that, it could be another thing. It's like, seems to be never ending with this gun. I will say, I really, really like the trigger. The trigger's awesome. But I'll also say, I don't want to count up to 15 anymore. I'm tired of counting 15 pumps. Seems silly, but it's really easy to lose track of 15 pumps. Um, uh, the pumping effort has gotten quite a bit easier. It's smoother. Pulling it out isn't nearly as bad as it was so that's that's a plus i but nice i should have i wish i kind of wish i would have kept track of how many uh pellets i put through this thing for it to smooth out but anyway guys thank you for the comments i appreciate them they make me think and and then i want to try stuff um but uh i don't want to try anything anymore in this i want to move on with life i know i've said that what three videos in a row now but i'm serious this time no more this thing's got to go it's a big time suck for me. And uh, I just keep thinking I'm getting mediocre results the more time I put into it. All right, guys, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He can go about his business. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. Move along. <laughs>